Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is defending his administration's decision to block a course on African American studies from the state's public schools. The fight is just the latest in an ongoing culture war in that state that has become a hallmark of the DeSantis agenda. With another four years in office came a promise from Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. Florida is where woke goes to die. And just weeks into his second term, the administration has a new target, banning public schools from teaching advanced placement African American studies, a pilot course by the college board focused on black history, arts, science, and culture. The state's Department of Education wrote this month, the course significantly lacks educational value adding that they would consider a revised curriculum with lawful, historically accurate content. Today, Governor DeSantis said teaching black history is required in Florida schools, but added this course amounted to indoctrination. This course on black history, what are one of, what's one of the lessons about? Queer theory. Now, who would say that an important part of black history is queer theory. That is somebody pushing an agenda on our kids. And so when you look to see they have stuff about intersectionality, abolishing prisons, that's a political agenda. The move stems from the so-called Stop Woke Act DeSantis signed into law last year to clamp down on diversity and inclusion efforts by schools and businesses. We believe in education not indoctrination. And it's just the latest battle in DeSantis's culture war, taking aim at the teaching of race in schools, how teachers can talk about gender identity, whether trans kids can play on sports teams, and COVID vaccine requirements. We are not a sanctuary state. He's made an enemy of blue state governors, sending migrants across the country without advance notice. And he's attacked Disney, one of the state's largest employers and marquee businesses. I don't care what big corporations say, here I stand, I'm not backing down. Fights on race, schools, and identity that have catapulted DeSantis to the national stage and into 2024 presidential contention. And joining us now is Frederick Ingram. He is secretary treasurer of the American Federation of Teachers, one of the country's largest teachers unions. He's a native Floridian who previously worked as a public school teacher in Florida. Thanks for being with us. And this class, this AP level African American studies course, still in its pilot phase, was introduced in 60 schools, including it in at least one high school in Florida. Uh, what's your reaction when you hear Governor DeSantis say that this class indoctrinates students? Well, uh, I, I am saddened. Uh, I'm appalled as a native Floridian, uh, but I'm concerned as a parent because we have Governor DeSantis who believes that he was elected to be a king and not the governor. Uh, this is politics 101 inside our classrooms. These are the best and brightest uh, students who would take this class, who would have an opportunity to explore advanced placement of African-American history in the same vein that we explore Italian history or uh, Japanese history and, uh, or AP music theory. These are the classes that are already offered. And to politicize African-American history is shameful of this governor. And we should do better because our kids deserve better. The governor says that because this course includes the study of queer theory, uh, because it talks about political movements that advocated for abolishing prisons, because it focuses on the reparations movement, that all of that, in his view, is political and that it shouldn't be pushed on students. Can a course like this be taught without including those issues? Listen, a course like this should be taught honestly. A course like this should be taught with the truth involved. History sometimes uh, it involves the good, the bad, and the ugly of what has happened. But we deserve honest history. And if you're talking about advanced placement African-American history, then you're talking about some of those things like uh, reparations. You're talking about some of those things like Jim Crow or slavery or the Reconstruction and the backlash to Reconstruction. You're talking about the Civil Rights Act. And those are uncomfortable uh, situations, but they're not political in the sense that we're trying to indoctrinate students. We're trying to teach students the truth about American history. And American history involves and is centered all around African-American history and the... Uh, the things that African-Americans have offered this country over the last 250 years. 
The targeting of this class follows Governor DeSantis's fight against uh, Florida schools teaching about uh, uh, sexual orientation or gender identity. How has all of this affected teacher morale and, and teacher recruitment and retention? Unfortunately, Governor DeSantis is taking a strongman approach to politics, and he's using our teachers uh, as the pivot point for uh, everything that's wrong with our educational system. Uh, we have over 5,000 classrooms right now that do not have a certified teacher, and that is in direct connection to the way teachers feel, because what Governor DeSantis is also doing is trying to take away teachers' voice. He's trying to take away uh, the structure and the autonomy in which we actually teach students and the voice that we have to organize each other to build a better curriculum, to ensure that our students are getting uh, the resources that they need. Our schools are deserving of a governor and a leader and uh, a, com a commissioner of education, frankly, that 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 is going to listen to them, that is going to understand the needs of our communities and our families. And Governor DeSantis is not that governor. How have students responded to this so far? Well, what we're hearing is that, you know, students are appalled. When you talk about African Americans uh, and you talk about the history and culture of African Americans, whether it's through their music, through the arts, through the dance, through the uh, intellectual acumen that we have provided this country, uh, it, it's a direct insult to, to folks. We have four HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, that teach African-American studies on a very high level. And to take this optional class that is in pilot form and say that it is not good for our student bodies, it, it is not going to come off well. And our students are reacting uh, in a way that they should. They should be appalled and they should be concerned because somebody is trying to take away uh, something that they deserve to have, and that's honest history. There are, at the moment, AP-level classes on European history, on German history and culture, Chinese history and culture. What does it signal that an AP-level class on African-American history is deemed objectionable? Well, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not a dog whistle. This is a, a loud uh, bullhorn of a call to say that African-American history doesn't matter. Uh, and that's unfortunate uh, for this governor because uh, he is completely ostracizing a community of people who have given so much to not only the state, but to neighborhoods across this country and to the country as a whole. Um, and so we really uh, need to kind of step back. And what we're demanding of this governor is to allow this optional advanced placement uh, African-American history course to be taught in our schools. Because again, there needs to be a totality of education that is afforded our students. And Governor DeSantis claims that this is the free state of Florida, but he's taken away freedoms every single day from not only our parents and our teachers, but he's taken it away from our kids. Frederick Ingram, former uh, Florida school teacher, now with the American Federation of Teachers. Thanks for your time. Thank you.